This is Clara Cheeks, and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Clara Cheeks Show, a show where I share about my life experience, the things that I'm learning in my own life, and also the things that I learn in other people's lives. So if you're seeing me for the first time, I can say it's not by an accident, it's divine. Well, today I'm so happy that I have these two young ladies with me, Moose and Atuko. Hi. Yeah, so these guys have been here before on this show, and I just thought that uh, we discussed some uh, interesting issues today concerning goal setting. So you guys, are you ready for today? Yes, yes we are. Yeah. So let me just try by defining a goal to me. And then you guys are going to also some, to say something on how you, you know, you think a goal is. Mm -hmm. But for me, what I can say that a goal is simply something that you have set so that you hit it and do it one day. In other ways, I can give you an example of uh, when people are playing football. Mm -hmm. What happens is that they are all aiming for, for the ball to go in that, uh, what do you call it? The net, yeah, the goal. So people actually are really trying so hard to, you know, play that football and until they reach their goal. And then we find that people are winning. That's how I can say about the goal. So I don't know what you think most. Um, okay, I think you've explained it pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something that you, you aim to achieve or you aim to, to, to get. Yeah. And what can you say, Atiko? Um, for me, I can say um, a goal. It's like uh, goals are several things or something in particular, in particular that you want to achieve or a target that you set out to reach at mm -hmm. the end of the day exactly, in whatever yeah. area of your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it, it's, it's so uh, interesting, you know, I've discovered in my own life and also in other people's lives that, you know, even if we set goals, sometimes it's very, very difficult to achieve them. Sometimes, I mean, we can all have different reasons. But maybe if I can ask, I'm sure the two of you have got goals. And I would like you to share about your goals if you don't mind, so that at least the viewers can hear what you have. So, can I start with you, Atuko, now? Oh, yes. Um, for me, there are several goals that I have set. Mm -hmm. uh, they say in my academics, since I'm pursuing a certain course, mm -hmm. um, my goal uh, is certainly to make sure that I pass my exams okay. um, with a certain grade uh, this academic year. And I also have other goals. I also have goals in business. Okay. I want my business to thrive. Um, I do do certain businesses and I want my businesses to thrive. And I also want to get a certain amount of capital. Really? Yes. Oh. And then even ministry-wise, I also oh. have goals that I set. Mm -hmm. Yes. Such okay. as um, helping more ladies. Perhaps uh, this year I would like to help more ladies uh, okay. to reach their potential. So yes. why the ladies specifically? What about the men? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a reason for that? That's a really interesting question. Yeah. Um, it's because I've always felt as if I'm more connected to women because okay. perhaps we are ladies. <laughs> yeah, so I've always thought But you're being selfish. <laughs> How about the men? <laughs> so there are instances where you find that uh, men also want to learn from uh, me okay. and um, I don't uh, chase them away. Oh, I allow them to learn and um, I do share my teachings also with the men but as we all know the movement is specifically for women. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, that's very interesting to yeah. hear. Yeah. Yeah. And what about you Moose? What are your goals? Um, okay, for <laughs> me, obviously I've got a lot of goals as well Okay. but um, let's say for my baking um, my goal is to reach um, a lot of customers, a okay. wider like customer base. Okay. Um, also, one of my goals is to develop, like, okay, in terms of flavors, you know, mm -hmm. colors and flavors. Yeah. Flavors. I want to like have a signature sort of um, taste. Wow. Yeah. So that's one of my goals, I guess. Uh -huh. Um. Then there's one thing that I also like doing, which is what well, I'm interested in. Um. That has to do with helping the environment. Okay. Like, wow. Yeah, making the environment more eco-friendly and how we relate to the environment as well. Mm -hmm. So that's something I want to work on. Right. It's just in the beginning phases, but yeah. like 
I'm aiming to at least, you know, get the word out because a lot of people don't know mm-hmm. that our environment is deteriorating. Like yeah, you know, it's true. global warming yeah. and whatnot, climate change. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's one of the things I want to do. So that's really that's interesting. interesting. Yeah. 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 So who's asking me? <laughs> My boss. <laughs> <mom. laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is crazy, you guys. I've got okay. so many goals, but okay. some of them I'm not going to share with the viewers oh, out there yes. because you can steal my goals. Oh, yes, that's and true. when I plan, you do the time. No, no, no. no, no. So I'll just share one. Okay. one. Mm-hmm. And one of my goals I can say right now that I'm interested in is um, concerning this YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I could reach, you know, young people like you guys mm-hmm. okay. just to promote what they are doing and uh, to support them in any ways because I've seen that uh, with teenagers or young adults sometimes it's very difficult to you know uh, do certain things yeah. sometimes maybe it can be family they are not supporting them sometimes That's it can really be true. you know maybe what they hear from people but I want to give them that motivation and say I took you can do it oh, yes. you can do everything yeah. that my, That's my really vision true. and my goal wow. so that's one of the things that I'm working towards and I want to achieve it but I give myself a big high five because I started doing it using the you know the, 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 the YouTube channel so yeah yeah so I was talking about challenges you guys you know um, what are some of uh, the challenges concerning your goals that you face like uh, you are took off yeah. Um, some of the challenges I face. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we all face challenges on a day-to-day basis. Mm-hmm. Um, let's say for me, academically, I've mm-hmm. been facing challenges like also um, in my mov- movement, in the growing of my movement, I've also been facing challenges. So uh, some of the challenges I faced academically is, I think, um, the amount of pressure that the lecturers have wanted to put upon us this academic year where you find that you are having um, tests uh, on two continuous occasions. Mm-hmm. Maybe, let me say, Tuesday and Wednesday, mm-hmm. you find that you have a test. It's you have stressful. a test. It's very <laughs> stressful. And uh, that's been a challenge for me. Mm-hmm. But then I think I've tried to handle it in the best way mm-hmm. possible. I've also had a challenge also... Uh, let me go to the business part, not mm-hmm. the ministry part. Uh-huh. For the business part, the challenges I've been facing are, for instance, when you're selling, let me say, clothes. Uh-huh. When you're selling clothes, you find that uh, during this COVID-19 period, oh. you realize that when you give people clothes on credit, mm-hmm. um, they'll decide to pay you maybe five months later. Five you months? Know, yes. Mm-hmm. I had a situation where people were paying me <laughs> after five months. So, you know, that was really challenging mm. for me. Okay. Even when it comes to the, for the ministry side, the challenges I've had are that uh, you find that the ladies that um, are in the movement, mm-hmm. uh, we are all based in different um, towns. Okay. So meeting oh. becomes a challenge at some point. And I've also noticed that uh, people have uh, different views mm-hmm. as well. Um, so you find that you have to you have to be able to handle different ladies mm-hmm. because some of them don't even show interest in learning. You know, some of them don't, <laughs> some of them don't have interest to contribute to mm-hmm. what you are teaching. Okay. So you have to have a patient spirit. Mm-hmm. Yes. So those are some of the challenges I've been facing. Yeah, and you talked about selling, uh, you know, like clothes. Yeah. What kind of uh, clothes do you sell mostly, and where do you do you get them from? Um, I usually sell uh, dresses. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly you have to, as an entrepreneur, yeah. you have to look at the things that your ladies want to wear oh. at that particular period of time. So uh, what, I, what I usually do is I go for those things that are eye-catching, oh. those things that ladies want yeah. to wear uh, in that season. Because uh, I believe that even clothes are seasonal. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. you have to choose uh, the clothes that your mm-hmm. friends are interested in at that period of time. Yeah, yeah. very interesting. And then uh, I get them from different places. Uh-huh. But mostly as an entrepreneur, you have to also um, look for a source that is favorable okay. to you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't buy clothes, let me say, from the USA when there are also nice clothes being sold in oh. uh, maybe South Africa. Oh, okay. You know, it, you find that it becomes more costly on your part. Yeah. 
Yes. So mm-hmm. and then the profit uh-huh. uh, becomes little. Wow. So you have to um, as an entrepreneur, you also have to look at the kind of people you're selling mm-hmm. certain things to. For instance, if I'm selling things uh, to people like uh, in the compound, like uh-huh. Papa compound, yes, I have to make sure I go for clothes <laughs> that are not so expensive, oh, you know. Okay. Yes, because at the end of the day, they won't be able to buy clothes yes. maybe that are like 300 kwacha, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So you have to, um, your stocks mm-hmm. uh, is determined by the type of people you're selling your mm-hmm. clothes to. That's very encouraging, you know, for a young lady like you, I mean, it's really encouraging. Yeah, yeah and I'm sure the viewers out there who are your age are learning something. Yeah. 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 And maybe just to ask you another question. Now the money that you are using for your business, or when you started, did, you, did your mom help you, or you just maybe saved and then started the, the business? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe when mom you pays for, for for you, and then you said no, this so, amount you got, to, you um, know. You know, uh, mom has always been very very supportive. supportive mm-hmm. So uh, certainly, uh, she's the one who helps wow. me to start start the business. Wow. And even in times when, uh, you know, I have a drawback or a setback uh-huh. and then the money finishes, mm-hmm. you find that she'll still come through and be like, okay, can I add and give you capital? Mm-hmm. So, so, oh, so wow. yeah. yeah. And most, some of the challenges? Yes. Okay, like <laughs> Tuko said, we face so many challenges. That's true. Mm-hmm. But for me, I think one of my biggest challenges is that mm-hmm. First of all, I tend to overthink things. <laughs> yes. And then, like, I'll end up having, like, lack mm-hmm. of motivation. Oh, That's yeah. one thing that I think stops me from going forward, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. So, like, for example, like, I told you about the environmental thing I was doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had this idea for a long time, <laughs> for years. <laughs> but just, like, sometimes I feel like maybe it's, like, too much, can uh, I say? Like, yeah. you know, you're like, okay, where am I even going to start yeah. from? So yeah. then I end up just like putting uh-huh. things away. So okay. I think for me, that's one thing that I'm trying to work on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then in terms of the baking, um, mm-hmm. like when Corona just hit us, I think it was hard for me because I think a lot of people, like you said as well, yeah. mm-hmm. um, people don't have money. Yeah. So people are getting laid off from work. So for me, it really like hindered my business a bit because I wasn't getting customers because they were trying to get their essentials. Yeah. We all know that cake is not an essential. It's just something yeah. you have. Yeah. yeah, so I think those are some of the challenges mm-hmm. that I think people face. Yeah. Yeah. And for you? And for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like concerning what I told you about, um, mm-hmm. you know, helping out young, young people like you, I think the most um, challenge that I face most of the times is... Um, when I find teenagers like you not believing in themselves, okay. maybe you can talk to them, but they are, they've got, uh, you know, past beliefs okay. coming from their parents, yes. the environment, and yes. then you talk to them, you encourage them on certain things, like, for example, what you were saying, you say, you start a business, you know, you can save money and do A, B, C, D, but they are like, not doing it and they feel that it's very impossible for them to to do so i think i really need to work hard on that one just to change the young people's mindset because they are the future generation and if they start on this level Mm -hmm. i mean they can do very well in uh, in life but i'm so happy that at least i'm seeing a bit of change there are people like you guys, you know, I talk to you and okay. I can see the change in you. So, yeah, that's maybe one of the things that I can just, you know, share with you. And also maybe another thing I can add on is uh, when it comes to their parents sometimes. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm trying to be sensitive sometimes on how I talk to them because maybe when they tell their parents, their mm-hmm. parents will think that maybe I'm trying to change, you know, their way of doing things to, to their kids. Yeah. yeah. So I try to be sensitive on that one as okay. well, which is also like sort of like a challenge because this is not what I want, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I know yeah. things are changing and things will be, you know, yeah. okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so maybe the other thing I would like us to talk about is uh, individually you guys when it comes to goal setting and achieving certain things in life, what are the steps maybe you can have maybe two or three steps you think you can take I know we are individuals, but according to you, Atuko, what are some of the goals, I mean, the, the steps that you took when you were doing your things, when you started your business? Yeah. yeah. Um, um, 
Okay, this, this is uh, a tricky question. <laughs> yes. Um, well, like, I remember the last time you interviewed me, yeah. I, you were asking me how I began to write my book. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think the response I can give you even right now is similar to that one. Okay. You know, whenever you have um, an idea in mind, an idea will always remain an idea as long as you haven't taken a step to carry it out. So, you know, the, the first step is certainly to begin, right. you know, the first step is to begin. I can say even like um, my sister moves here, mm -hmm. I'm sure even before she began to do baking, she had it in mind, you know, it was an idea. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, the first step is to begin. I'm sure she, it was an idea mm -hmm. until she decided to carry Absolutely. out that idea. Yeah. Yes. So even for me, um, each time when I have a goal, I try my best to, when I have a goal or when I have something I want to achieve, I try my best to start it, no matter how impossible it mm -hmm. appears to oh, be. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's very nice that people I agree with you. Yes. Yeah. It's so important. Yeah. 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 An idea of what mm -hmm. you obviously yeah, we all have ideas and stuff, yeah. but it's it's the I think the crucial part is just starting. Mm -hmm. Once you start, I think it becomes easier, you yeah. take it step by step. So yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I completely agree with what you said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. go a bit deeper. Yes. Yeah, okay. I go a bit spiritual. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With me, like whenever I'm setting a goal, the first thing that I do when an idea comes. Uh -huh. I first of all meditate oh, about okay. it, okay. and then I pray. Okay. After praying, now it may be silly, but I've got a vision board. Okay. For some of it's you, so silly. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. actually a good thing. <laughs> some of you, maybe you don't know about this vision board. What I do is I've um, got this vision board where I put a lot of pictures of what I want to achieve. Okay. For example, if I want for example i can give you if i want a new phone okay. and i want to achieve that goal okay. i go and stick it on my on my vision board okay. so that's one of the tips that uh, that that i do mostly when i'm setting goals because the, the reason why i do that is because i want to visualize yes and then whenever i look at it i see the future and oh, i say okay. i'm going to do it you know uh, yeah you're taking yeah. me back to jeremiah uh -huh. 1 verse 12 yes. where uh, god was telling um the prophet Jeremiah mm -hmm. to say, what do you see? Uh -huh. And then the prophet Jeremiah began to say, I see the an almond yes. tree. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And even the Bible says it. I don't know if it's the same book where it says that you write your vision. Yes. I, that's one of the steps I do as wow. well. I write. Wow. I want okay. to open up a school. Yes. So I write okay. and visualize. visualize you know? Yes. That will make me have that picture. Like you said earlier on that before you do something. Yes. Inside already. Yes. So inside, yeah. I've got it. Yeah. I've got that phone. That's I've got that camera. Powerful. So as I visualize, mm -hmm. it's like yes. the universe guards just bring it because yes. I'm willing to do yes. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's wow. what I do. And also just to be positive. Whenever I see, you know, you know I, 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 whenever I uh, visualize, I'm mm -hmm. positive that, you know, actually I can do it. I yes. know the challenges are there, but I just see yes. myself doing it, you know, yes. like it's happening right now. Wow. That's, that's what I can say, I think. You know, we're actually learning <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, apart from that, you guys, I think um, we can end here. But if you've got some uh, thoughts. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are free to say something to the viewers out there. What okay. would you like to encourage them? Yeah, concerning this topic. Definitely. Okay, I was actually going to ask a question. Oh, yeah, um, you can ask. Yeah. You know how, I don't know if both you guys can hear okay. You know how people are always trying to set um, New Year's resolutions. What do yeah. you guys think about that? <laughs> it seems like everyone will plan to set them, but then by the end of the year, they're like, okay, I actually mm -hmm. didn't do that. Okay. So, what's you guys' view? I think there's nothing wrong with uh, New Year's resolutions, <laughs> but then the thing is, each time like we are transitioning into a new year, um, I think I should have heard this quote from someone uh -huh. to say, you know, uh, a new year doesn't mean a new you unless you have a new mindset. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good one. Yes. Yeah. So you know, you need to make sure that even as you are setting those new, those new 
grows, you're many you're ready to um tackle those problems mm-hmm. with a new attitude mm-hmm. altogether. Mm-hmm. Even as you are setting those new year's resolutions. And I think something from what uh Mommy Clara said, mm-hmm. she talked about uh writing things down. Yeah. It's also yeah, yeah. Like it's New Year's exactly. resolutions yeah. actually. Yeah. And each time when you have uh, new resolutions and then you write them down, you can always go back to them and then, you know, uh, remind yourself to say, I need to be focused and I need to be disciplined. It reminds me of um, a certain time when we were crossing over, not this year, but in 2020, Uh we were crossing over into 2020. Then the, this man of God, Pastor Ezusia, he talked about um, how you need to be disciplined. But a certain, um, the only way in which you can be disciplined is if you've taken into account of certain things. Mm-hmm. And you're always going back. Just like yeah. Mom Clara said that she has a vision board. Yeah. And you know, each time she looks at it, it gives her a clear picture mm-hmm. in her mind of what she wants to achieve and where she's going. And she doesn't allow any distractions mm-hmm. to come her way. Because I'm seeing it there. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's my thought on New Year's resolution. Okay, as a Well, with me, you know, a few years ago, okay. I used to believe in setting goals. Every new year, I would, you know, say I'll do this and yeah. that, but I was not doing it, you know. Okay. But it took revelation, okay. like this year, yeah. I told myself that no more new year resolution. Yeah. Wow. Because I think, for me, what I've discovered uh-huh. spiritually is that it's actually a myth. Okay. Because for me, how I'm taking life right yeah. now is, it's just one long day, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. There's no new year. Okay. So it's just, it keeps on getting light, dark, but one, okay. one long year. Okay. So that's why I've said that, you know, I don't need to make this resolution okay. because it's just one day. Okay. One day, a long one. Okay. So let me just continue and not make any resolutions mm-hmm. because it's a new year for me. It's just one one day. Okay. Yeah, that's what I can say. I hope it helps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I think yes. Okay, and you? Yeah. Okay, for me, yeah. I think I'm taking from both of you because oh. at first I used to be nervous. Okay, I've never really been a person to... I, I, I don't call myself not focused, but I've never really <laughs> set any New Year's resolutions. <laughs> okay. But I think I, I like what you said about the mindset. Like, uh-huh. even if later you say a New Year starts, you're like, oh, I'll do this. If your mindset isn't different, there's no point in doing it. Okay. Yeah, I think you just have to um, know what you want in life and mm-hmm. yeah, be focused and do it. I don't necessarily think you should always set goals in the beginning of the yeah. year unless like you set your mind to it still yeah. and you know you're going to do it. Because people set them and then don't do anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Can you guess the common New Year resolution when it comes to ladies? Do you think what can you say? What they always do? Yeah, they want to get. Uh, Engaged? <laughs> no, but okay, with me, with me, what I've noticed, you guys, <laughs> it's, it's the weight, especially for people like oh. age. I want to lose weight, I'll start going to the gym, oh. but, and they even say that, like, after New Year, I'm eating all these healthy, healthy yeah. day three, you're back in your yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow, right? Yeah. Like, it should yeah. always take you back to being disciplined. Yeah. Yeah. Because if yeah. you're disciplined, you follow what um, you've written, even on the New Year's resolution. And then another thing I wanted to add on, mm-hmm. you know, the thing is with these New Year's resolutions, uh, others just do it for the sake of doing it. Mm-hmm. But then others do it like with a revelation from God. Oh, yes. You know, like God begins to reveal to you like what you have to do in a particular year, uh-huh. you know, because uh, time is an important factor. You can't buy time. Yeah. So God begins to reveal it to you. And then that's how now you, you get to write it down. Mm-hmm. So um, again, it matters which voice you're listening to when you're setting your New Year's resolutions, you know? Yeah. Is it just out of the desires of your soul? Mm-hmm. Or is it the Holy Spirit who is inspiring those thoughts yeah. so that you can work towards certain things, mm-hmm. you know? Because God doesn't want us to remain at the same level, no. Yeah. You know? God wants us to keep on uh, changing and changing and moving from glory to glory. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's that's correct. I agree with you. Yes. Yeah. Is that the name of it? Is it? Yes. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the name? Glory to glory. Oh, glory yes. to glory. Yes. So you guys, like last time, you she was on the show. She talked about her book. Yes. So finally, Atuko, can you try to like uh, say something about your book again? Where people can contact you and what you're doing when it comes to this, uh, you know, like people buying your book. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well. Um. You can. Come 
contact me on uh, 097-0688-588. Um, my book is readily available uh, as a soft copy, but then when it comes to hard copy, you need to order and then I'll get it uh, printed for you and I'll get it also delivered to you. So um, as a soft copy, it's going at 50 kwacha, hard copy is going at 150 kwacha. Yes, so just contact me and I'll let you know on how to get it. At the moment, I also have people in Malawi and also people in Angola. Wow. So like if you're, if you're in Angola and you're having a challenge sending money to me, um, I have people there who are willing to sell it to you and get the money in your currency. Yeah, that's yes. very encouraging for a young lady like you, you know. She's yeah, written she a book, I mean, it's really, you really inspired me actually. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Thank so, you so much. Well, I, I think we're done. Yeah. I think so. It's been great. Did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So, you guys, thank you so much for listening to this interview. I mean, for this discussion, I can yeah. say. Yeah. 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 So, if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, The Clara Trips Show, you can do that. And you can also follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook, you guys. It's been great. But, like I always say, it all starts from you loving yourself. That's when other people will also love you because you cannot give something that you don't have so it's very very important and i'll see you in my next video so for now you guys say bye bye, -bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>